Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share how to get these really pretty letters with your fonts. When I first started with my Cricut machine, I always saw these and wondered how people got them. So today I just wanted to share how you do this. And the font that I'm using is Samantha Upright. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you type this in to Design Space. So I'm just going to type it in, and as you can see, it shows up like this. It doesn't automatically come up with these letters. So that's why you have to use some type of program to get these letters here. So I have a Windows computer, so I'll be showing you how to do this with a Windows. But if you have a Mac computer, then you can use a program called Font Lab, and um, you'll just Google that and then download that onto your computer, and that'll be pretty similar to what I'm using here. So if you have a Mac, that is where what you need to download. But on my Windows, I want to show you that there is something called Character Map and you might have already heard of this, but um, this just automatically comes on your desktop on your computer. So if I select this, then I'll show you what it looks like. It pops up on the screen and it is so tiny. So you can see here, it is so difficult to see these letters and I do not like using this at all. So what I like to do is I like to use character map UWP. And this is something that you download, it's free, and it shows up so much bigger, and I just love using this. And there's also a few other programs that you can use besides Character Map. You can use Main Type is what it's called. You can also use Babel Map, and I think there might be a couple others. I think maybe Nexus Font. So there's a few other things that you can use, but this is the one that I have always used, and I really like it. So what you'll do is you'll just Google this and then you hit get and you hit open Microsoft Store and I've already installed this on my computer but I'll just show you what the screen looks like when it pops up. So right here you'll just hit install and it'll just go uh, get installed onto your computer. So I'm going to show you how I use this. And also I want to show you what font I'm using. It is um, the Samantha font, and I bought this off of the Mighty Deals website, and it was $17, and after you buy this, you can use this as commercial use as well. So whatever you're making to sell, you can use this um, on whatever you're selling. And I just decided to buy this font because it has so many different characters and so many pretty different pretty letters so I just really love it but you can go to defont.com and you can see here there's a ton of free ones too most of these are for personal use and you can even see I thought this one looked kind of similar to the Samantha font but I'll be showing you just how I use the Samantha font because there's just so many different characters and fun things that you can do with it so I am going to delete this and then I will show you with this here how I switch these letters. So I'm going to type in character map and I'm going to go to the one that I had downloaded, which is this one here. Okay, and this is what it looks like. So you can see all of your fonts that are in your computer and I'm going to scroll down to the Samantha font that I'm using. So I'm going to select that. And then you can see on the top here it shows that this is your font and here is all of the different characters that you can use and this font has just a ton of different ones and so many pretty letters I just love this font but there's a ton in here and you can see it'll show up on the side so I'm gonna go back to my thankful and I'm gonna show you how I do this the first thing I want to change is my T so I'm gonna go back to my character map and I'm going to search for a small T and it's really nice because it's all in alphabetical order. So it makes it a lot easier to find um, what you're looking for. Just makes it quicker. So here's all of the T's and I think I'm going to use this T. So you just select that and you can see it pop up over here. And you can see it's so much bigger than the, the character map that comes with your computer. And then what you'll do is you'll hit copy. And then you'll go back into Cricut Design Space 
And then the next thing I do is double click on my Thinkful and then I am going to highlight just the T and then I'm going to right click and hit paste. And it comes up, it looks like a little square, but you can see it automatically puts in that T there. So it's really actually pretty easy. So I'm also gonna change the H. So I'm gonna go back and look for an H. And this is the H that I want to use. So I'll select that and hit, hit copy again. And then I'm just going to double click, or not double click, I'm going to highlight my H and copy and paste it. And there it shows up right there. And then I also want to do, I'm trying to remember which ones I did. I think I did the F. Okay, so I'm going to go back and look for an F. And I'm trying to remember which one I did. I think I did this one. So I'm going to select that and I'll copy it. And then I'll just do the same thing for the F. And then I'm going to go in and switch, do a different L. So I'm going to select that one, I'll hit copy, and then one more time, I'll just paste it. Okay, so I have all of my letters, so now I just want to connect all of these together. So I'm going to do this how you would normally do it, you'll just hit ungroup, and then just connect all of these together. And here's how it looks with the all together. It's really fun and you can just be so creative with this. And I feel like this opens up so many options when you know how to use the character map. If you have any questions on this, leave a comment below and I will try to get back to you. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I post one video a week and it is free. And I hope everybody has a great week.